Hey guys, what's good? If you've watched episode one, two, welcome. We are at episode three. If you haven't watched episode one, two, watch this one and go watch one and two. The order does not matter. But anyways, thanks for watching. Welcome to Sam with the Vibes channel. Um, we're just talking about Black History, Black History Month. That's what we're in. And today we have a very interesting topic. Um, it's a word that is being thrown around a lot. Everyone has different meanings for it. We're going to try our best to dissect it and say what it means to us individually. So the word we're going to talk about today is black excellence. So the question for the panel is, um, what is black excellence? How can we create, support, and maintain black excellence? And do you feel like it's a word that is used out of place or is used properly in the right regards? Let, let's start that way. I don't want to start this now. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Um, so black excellence to me, I think is such a high accord and that's what it originally was mm. like the term analogy was created for it was created for this girl's crying over here what's happening <laughs> just <yeah>. oh <laughs> <laughs> you cry when you go <laughs> <laughs> that's that shit happens man yeah. that's, just, that's black like, excellence right happened? there you know <laughs> Black excellence, you're not good. Black excellence, yes. Um, <laughs> but yeah, like the the terminology was created to celebrate huge accomplishments within the black community and black culture. Mm. And I think now, personally, I see the word being thrown around like it's white on rice. Like it's everybody's black excellence. Everybody's got something to say. You're you're seeing posts like selfies rolling up and people black excellence hashtag black excellence and it's like it's not you accomplish nothing today that's not black excellence because you you posted an awesome selfie and it's so sexy and everybody likes it that's not black excellence maybe black girl magic but not <laughs> black excellence mm. and to me like we created like the three-way stop sign we created like big things in the world that we use every single day mm. that is black excellence the things that people are accomplishing in our day to day, behind the scenes, not mm. trying to take credit for it, is black excellence. That is what black excellence. So do you feel it has to be extreme to be black excellence? No, I don't think it has to be extreme. I think even just small accomplishments or mm. everything, like even you going to, you don't need to post it on social media for it to be real, but you going to the supermarket and doing something amazing for the homeless or even just something simple in your everyday life, mm. you live your life that way. Like you're, that's black excellence. You're radiating that type of aura off of you like you're a mm. <laughs> you deserve to be like yeah i am black excellence but usually people that are doing things like that aren't the ones that are like black excellence mm. that's me right like those are the people that are behind the scenes making shit happen grinding fact fact terry what are you saying tell them what black excellence means to you bro i think she just said it all <laughs> <laughs> Nah, I, th I think she's gonna get to you. <laughs> 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 She'll be like, hey, skip. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Let's go black. <laughs> nah, I, th I think she explained it well. To be honest, I'm not fully sure if I'm going to explain it right, correctly, because I don't, I've heard the, the word black excellence, but I never really, um, does it mean appreciating? Black people and what they mm -hmm. do. So if you mean, but if it, if it's that, then just by showing support to what black people as a whole do, there's a lot of stuff that we do. Mm. But at the same time, when it comes to that, it's another topic too. We don't mm -hmm. really support each other when it comes to that, because mm -hmm. some people would say you don't go to Louis Vuitton and ask them for a discount, but you would come to my store and be like, "Hey, man." Listen, brother, you can't, I'm a black man, you can't be, you can't be doing that to me. I know. You feel me? So, it's, I don't know, it's. That's guess, deep, though. You just went into, like, a deep topic right there. Yeah, I understand what you mean, like, with a black-owned business. But, like, I think, personally, anybody that walks into somebody's store asking for a freaking discount, like, get the heck out of here. You don't walk into, you don't walk into, you so yeah, you, don't you don't walk into Alexander do McQueen, that. Louis Vuitton, mm -hmm. bank, oh, and say I have white privilege. Give me five percent off. Mm -hmm. Like okay. you, I, I have. I'm black. You're a black business owner. Like I think anybody that's doing that's just like. No, he's talking from the. If I'm not mis, if I'm not misquoting, he's saying that 
there is a preconceived knowledge that when I go into a store that is owned by a white man or some white person, I pay. But when I go to a black store, I want some form of discount as a black person. And it's not even, it doesn't have to be a store. It just has to be everything in general. Like, okay, as a whole, like if even if, even when you host parties, I've never gone to freaking, I don't know, I mean, <laughs> clubs and shit, but like any club downtown that's, that's predominantly white, have you gone to the door yeah. and then said, they say $20. You'd be like, oh, man, this and this. I guarantee I When they're trying to charge you at SP 20 bucks to get in the door and there's five people uh, inside. You pull up, <laughs> you pull up, <laughs> You're you like, pull are up you serious? Some, somewhere else, that person will argue with you for $20, but he's about to walk up in that bitch and spend 150 <laughs> to $500 inside, but can't pay $5 at the door. Because it's just something just, it, just... It doesn't make sense. Like, people preach this shit black. Do you mind calling support. names? No, nah, I ain't calling <laughs> names. I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. I'm just saying, like, uh, it's it's good to support each other. Mm. And we should, to be honest. But, like, we, black people as a whole, I think we ex- we always have expectations when it comes to each other, which is good. Mm. But at the same time, like, you're running me dry, brother, trying to mm. get me to lower this shit because I'm I'm black and you're black. You mm. mean like a sense of entitlement? Yeah. yeah. Like if I know Sam, if, if I come up to Sam today and Sam has this setup right here and I'm asking Sam, like, hey, man, I'm about to do a podcast. Could you help me out? Sam so be like, yeah, bro, I charge 150. I ain't gonna lie. If I don't have 150, I'll just say I don't have 150. Or mm. I could just offer something better and be like, listen, bro, I'm just starting out. Can we do 50 per session? Mm. And then when I get my stuff straight, I pay you the money the way you charge. Mm. And that's at least something like that. But don't come up to somebody, don't even offer them another way of them making that money back mm. and expecting them to just say yes. And if they say no, you're upset. But at the end of the day, you 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 want to say you preach um, black, black people. Yeah, type shit. So, so tie it back to black excellence. I don't understand that constructed that bridge between what you're saying and that i don't understand it because like we say black excellence but do we really appreciate that Mm. as a whole do we um do we really mean it because i think it means to me black excellence means supporting right Mm. and supporting black businesses Mm. supporting black people as a whole and what Mm. we do and and i'm i don't mean negatively but just in positive way yeah in the right way yeah so even if I'm doing something right, mm. do we black people as a whole really support each other? Ties back to episode two. Go watch it. That's, that's a different Go thing. Watch it. That's a different thing. But yeah, I'm I sorry. I don't hear what you say. Oh, what, what do you feel? Um, can you really read the question? Yeah, I got you. So, <laughs> so the question is, what does black excellence mean to you? That seems like giving me a yawn again. <laughs> what does black excellence mean to you? Um, how do we create it? How do we maintain it? How do we support it? Um, Black excellence to me is like setting goals for yourself or like together, I guess, as a black community Mm -hmm. and like overcoming them, accomplishing it, overcoming challenges within yourselves or the black community. Mm. Mm. Fair, fair. I like that one. Yeah, Yeah. no, that is, I really like that. Like even just the whole playing into yourself, like. Because obviously you have to care for yourself first. You can't care for mm. anybody else, right? We all know that one. But like setting goals for yourself and accomplishing them. Like how do we get black owned businesses? Because one person one day set a goal for themselves and accomplished it. Like that is black, black excellence. So I completely agree with that. Facts. I feel like for me, black excellence stems from just loving yourself. Like just loving yourself, loving your culture, loving your tradition, mm-hmm. you know, and just... Lot, like like to your point, I, I see it a lot. When it's a white party, everyone is quick to spend at the door, spend inside. But when there's not necessarily a predominantly white party, they're having doubts, oh, how can I get a discount? I just feel like we just need to understand that we as people, we should love ourselves, right? And I know it's a word that everyone says, but like just love yourself. Loving yourself to me means loving every detail about me, loving every detail about my color. Loving every if when I have kids, I'll tell them 
Like, do, do you know how good looking you are? Like your hair, everything, like it's perfect. People want to be you. Everybody like, copies. Yes, it's perfect. <laughs> like, like, and treating, like you said, it starts from myself. Me understanding that I, I love every single inch, every speck of hair on my, on my body and preaching that to people around me. I feel like that, that, that's what black excellence means to me. And when it goes to a bigger dimension, like businesses, understanding that as a black person owning a business, I require, for me, I require perfection. So in that light, I feel like black excellence in that light is just perfection. There is no standard for white. There is no standard for black perfection. Having a perfect, um, worthy business platform, perfection to me is black excellence. You know what, I... I agree with that. And I think it, it really ties into the fact that we, and I don't want to go too deep into it because it'll, it'll become such a big, big different topic, but we as black people, a lot of the time have to run in situations where people can walk, right? Mm. To get to the same destination. Mm. And we have to t- try 10 times harder mm. because of certain difficulties that were just placed by just being black, mm. right? Like by just being black human beings and people of the society and whatnot. And some of them are self-proclaimed difficulties and boundaries and barriers that we put on ourselves as black people. Mm. And then others are others are um, actual society and things within the government and just <laughs> the banking systems, everything that do play a huge, huge, huge part into it. So Fact. I agree. And this ties back to our first episode, episode one. Go and watch it again. It's we don't need the month, we don't need the month to exhibit black excellence. It's mm-hmm. every day. It's yeah. a daily thing. Absolutely. Anyways, thanks for watching episode three. I'm sure you've watched this far into the video. Thank you. Please like, share, subscribe. Do those good things. See you in episode four. Appreciate you. Mm-hmm.